Hi, I'm Kevin Hambly, head volleyball coach at the University of Illinois. I'm also the Division I rep on the ABCA Board of Directors. Uh, this is an exciting time of year. Uh, this is a time of year when a lot of the players across the country have rejoined with their club programs or have found new club pro program programs or have started playing club for the first time. And at the, the way these club programs are set up is, you know, you go out and there's, there's a lot of uh, players and coaches interacting. And the, the recruiting task force of the ABCA has decided that it would be important for us to talk about tournament etiquette so that we can understand these rules and understand uh, what the interaction should be like because it's a very sticky situation with coaches and players sitting next to each other. So first I'll start off with the rules of co during competition. If you are a participant or an athlete in the competition, meaning anyone that is wearing a jersey and that is playing in any of the, in any of the club tournaments, at no point is a college NCAA coach, Division I, Division II, or Division III allowed to communicate with you. NAIA in junior college, they have a different set of rules and they are allowed, but no NCAA, uh, NCAA coach is allowed to, whether it's head coach or assistant, to have any sort of interaction with the players, uh, with the exception of one thing, which is incidental contact, and I'll get to that in a second. The other thing that happens is that a lot of times you will see this at club tournaments, is that the parents will be sitting on a on the bench or on a bleacher, and the, and the coaches will come and sit next to those parents. And if that happens, and let's say the parent, because they're friendly, says hello to the coach, that would be what we consider an incidental contact. And the coach is then allowed to say hello and have a typical greeting. But the conversation can go no further than that. That is, the, 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 that is what is allowed in, with that uh, kind of incidental contact as the NCAA has defined it. Another time that an incidental contact could happen is uh, if players, let's say they're walking between courts and a coach is walking between courts and they run into each other and then the player recognizes the coach as maybe a coach they had at camp or uh, maybe they, they went to their match and they watched them play or watched their team play or even if that player is being recruited by that coach, the player is allowed to come up and say hello to the coach, but the coach is only allowed to say hello, hi, and a, a typical greeting and then they must move on. And the reason we think that this is important that you understand this is that typically uh, players that don't understand this rule, you know, you know this coach, you've been your camp coach and they say, or, or something along those lines and you say hello to them and they say hello, hey, nice to see you, how you're doing, and they move on, they, they a lot of times feel like the player may think that they're being rude. And that certainly is no coach's intention. I promise you that every coach, uh, given the chance to talk to student athletes, would love the opportunity to talk to the student athletes and carry on a conversation and find out how they're doing. But the NCAA allows, uh, rules do not allow this to happen. So again, let me clarify. If you're an underclassman, at no time can you have, during competition, can you have communication with the coach. Or if you are a senior, at no time can you have, during competition, can you have any kind of uh, communication with the coach besides the incidental contact. And that goes the same for the parents of underclassmen. They are not allowed to have anything more than an incidental contact. Now, if you are a senior, uh, that being starting July 1st of after your junior year, uh, the, your, the coaches may have a contact with you. and it would, it would be one of the contacts that they're allowed by the rules of the NCAA where they can actually have a conversation with you, but that could not take place until after you are done with your competition. Not done with the day of tournament, so if it's a three-day tournament, it would have to be after you are done with the entire tournament, and done, so that would be considered the competition, and you are released by your coach. So the coach would have to go and ask your coach, hey, is she done, is she released, is the tournament over, may I have a conversation with her? If the coach says yes, then they can have a contact, and anything can go on in that conversation. Uh, that goes for anyone that's in their senior year. Uh, now, also with that, if they're in your senior year, July 1st their senior year, on the, the coach may have a conversation with the parent during the competition. That's the only time that a communication could happen during the competition is with a parent is if they are after, if, if the tournament play, takes place after July 1st their senior year or if the player has signed an NLI or a uh, financial agreement with the university. So that's important. So again, the incidental contacts are allowed, but don't be surprised if the coaches are being rude. The only time you can have contact is July 1st uh, after your senior year. You're allowed to have some kind of contact with 
the coaches. That is the typical term etiquette. What I hope is that by, by seeing this, that no one's offended by coaches uh, not, not carrying on conversations and that this helps you a little bit to understand what the rules are like during competition in this in an incredibly exciting time of club season. Thank you very much.